It's about 5.52 now, and uh, at this time I should be on my way downstairs to go and change and ready to go home. Normal shift starts at 7. We have roughly from 26 to 30 of 1,000 people every month. Many languages we speak as well. <laughs> Very international. Basically, not every day is the same. They get around about 100 to 150 a day just registered letters. They're the ones you'll be going out with Dave in the minutes because we've got to get them up for around about half nine so they can get on with their business in the bank. I mean, although you're doing the same thing every day, you, you see different people all the time, you know, it's, like, it's quite varied. Probably walk between 10 and 20 miles a day, sometimes more. Everybody say, morning Dave, and he's always um, happy and chatty. Yeah, it's always nice to see him. It varies, like some of the stuff comes in, they wonder how who's ordered it because you can't get it in the lift. It's, yeah, it's non stop, but it's enjoyable at the same time. Yeah, I don't have to uh, join the gym, I must admit. Yeah, it saves me a bit of money joining the gym, doing so much walking up and down. So, yeah, yeah. My role is taken from the hotel model where I'm the general manager, I have a head of catering, head of security, head of cleaning, and all of the other services. They report in to me. We meet on a daily basis at 10 o'clock. We review all the issues within the building and make sure we're doing the service to Barclays. So now the catering assistants are doing their, their final preparations for, for lunchtime opening, which is in about uh, 10 minutes' time. So absolute attention to detail. And you'll see the attention to detail in terms of the presentation of the food and how they have to keep that up throughout the day. A salad bar, we have 16 different salads on a, on, on a daily basis. that are all made fresh on, on site by a team of four chefs that just make salads all day long. Um, and then they prep it up for the next day, so the service on there. Our most popular dish across the board is a katsu chicken, and we go through 500 portions of that. The last six weeks, we've actually um, used 72,000 eggs, and that's just eggs that we crack open for frying and baking. To work at Barclays, you have to have understanding, a knowledge, ability, and you always have to know to make the customers happy also. She's from one till to the other. She's absolutely excellent and she's a real character. So that kind of brightens up your morning. Come just say hello, baby, how are you? She is full of energy, happiness and joy. Fair point? Fair point, yeah. See? And she calls everybody baby. And I love it. Every time I come down for lunch, she's like, come on, baby. So sometimes they say to me, I thought you was my only baby. I say, yeah, you're my only baby. Keeping a building of this size running, it's a huge job if you imagine that it's a bit like the guy in Cape Canaveral who says that he's helping to put a man on the moon. Um, all of the staff from a facilities perspective are helping Barclays to um, run their business. For us it's about keeping um, people happy, fed, warm and in the right environment. So we, we normally supply in about five small towns during a normal day. So that's quite a lot of people to support. The environment that people work in is, is an important environment to them. They work better when they're more comfortable. I've worked in this building 11 years now. Um, there was no Barclays staff in the building when I came here. They were still building walls and installing equipment. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, I started as a member of the Portridge team, then went on to the reception, worked on all the desks on the ground floor, went up to level 31 for two, two and a half years and then I um, decided to go into the floor management team and that's what I've been doing ever since the year 10 years, pretty much since the building opened, I've been doing this. If we, if we didn't have a floor manager like Michael on our floor, it would be a duller place. Yeah, a lot of changes, you know, a lot more people, but you know, it's a lot more, it's a lot more fun, it's more vibrant, there's a, there's a better atmosphere to it as well. Literally when I was presenting something, uh, the next thing I know there was kind of a, a floating window cleaning unit with two guys kind of hanging out at it at whatever thousand foot we're up here and I kind of reset. So that was kind of a funny moment for us because thinking about the guys that actually do that and the great work that they do for the building was like, wow. We call it like a big village. You know, it, it really is. It's a village for us that actually run the building. There's things happening here all the time. We have had some people who are working very late and decided to just um, go into a meeting room and fall asleep for the night. Usually fairly busy when, when we come in at sort of a seven in the evening um, and quietens down around about sort of like 10, 11. 
I love working in this building. I, um, I've worked in, in security, worked in a lot of older buildings, whereas here everything's sort of, I know it's 10 years old, but still new, uh, practical. So yeah, love working in the building. <laughs> Had a few, few scares, but nothing too <laughs> for light-hearted. There's some um, people reported about spotting a ghost or something. I don't know how far that is during level 26 and stuff, yeah. There's a part of uh, working at night. 